Now the internet and the smartphone means everyone can be a writer and a photographer these days, but it also means that you can be a movie maker too. Sutton Coalfield Movie Makers is growing its membership and held its first ever film festival this year. Fiona Dunn dropped into the studio a few days ago to tell me all about it. Fiona, thanks very much for joining us. To start with then, tell us about Sutton Movie Makers. Who are they, where are they, and how did you get involved? Um, well, Sutton Movie Makers has been going for about 70 years, probably a little bit longer. That's impressive, isn't it? Yes. 70 years. Yeah, we're, we're long-standing. Um, uh, we, we meet in uh, Wild Green in, in Sutton, um, the second and fourth Thursday of every month, so a little shout out. Um, and I got involved um, about five years ago. Um, one of the members was looking for um, actors and actresses to be a part of his film. Mm. Um, so he was going around local um, drama societies looking for, for people to be involved and I went along for an audition and the rest is kind of history. Cause is that how a lot of people start do you think? Because I mean obviously there's lots of Amdram societies mm. but you know, 20, 10, 20, 30 years ago, it wasn't that easy yeah. to be making movies. It's quite expensive, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's changed a lot because there's so many different mediums that you can now, you know, film with, um, phones and, and whatever else. So it's not as hard to, to make your own films. So it's a lot easier nowadays, <clears throat> excuse me, to, to create something, whether it's your own film, whether it's to be part of a film. Um, and there are more and more societies popping up all over the country just basically for the joy of filming, the joy of creating something to put on a screen and to say, that's mine. And, and so what is that the real objective of most of the members? I mean, we're not talking about people that work on Hollywood blockbusters. No. We're talking about amateur filmmakers, yeah. are we? So. Yeah, uh, gen generally we are an amateur society, but we are trying to drop the, the amateur um, prefix because the quality of films that we're doing now is just is so much better than it was 10 years ago 15 years ago and that's just really due to technology people are getting better cameras um, and essentially yeah you're right it is just to get a, a film created um, just for the love of it really and we do do competitions we do enter some of our films for um, regional and national competitions and win some we do, yeah, we do. We are an award-winning society. <laughs> um, there's quite a big one um, that, that happens every year, the North versus South, um, and we have won that one quite a few times. Um, and then also, um, of course, earlier this year, for the first time in your 70-year history, you, you held a yeah, film festival. We did. And we you were did. on the committee. I was. So you I are was. responsible partly yes. for it. So yeah. did, I mean, how long <laughs> that took some planning, I presume. Um, well, we had the idea sort of mid to late last year, 2016, um, and we really got stuck into planning and organising it uh, at the beginning of this year. Um, so we held it at the end of June, um, and it was just basically, we wanted to create an event where people could just show their films for no other reason than just to say that's my film up there and I made that. Um, so there was no sort of competition element, there was no um, awards or certificates or anything like that so did, people didn't have that pressure of I've got to make something to win, it was just I want to make something to be a part of it to just have my film on the screen and, and enjoy it. Well of course being a movie makers society you made a film of the festival. We did, of Let's course. take a little look at it now. <laughs> I think it's great to actually have an event like this together where you know people can enter their films and we can all enjoy them together on a nice afternoon. I've been to quite a few film uh, competitions and events before, but not anything quite like that. Lots of variety, lots of different ideas. It's the end of the week and Mr. Ben is going to the Feel Good Film Fest. Some of the films are fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm a good laugh about it, yeah. Just generally to have a nice day, I think. Just to smile lots. <laughs> it's definitely feel good, that's the thing. It's, it's a lively festival. Jill made me out of plasticine. And here's Mr Green. No, you, you can't put him there. You, you, no, no, not there. Move him back a bit. That's it. Perfect. It's nice to see uh, filmmakers and uh, what they're doing with the films, all the different techniques and things. Yeah, really good. So it's their first entry in the video. Wow. You never done it before? Yeah. Let's build an insect hotel. Good idea. I mean, we're both artists and we're, we're, I'm relatively, relatively new to uh, videos, so you know, it's very exciting. You know, and, uh, we're, we're very glad to be here. We're going to build it out of what? Straw. We haven't got any straw. I'll buy some straws. Okay. 
I'm very excited to see the film on a big screen because it will probably be um, the biggest my face has ever been. I'm more interested in what the reaction of other members of the audience are to see whether it's a film that goes down well, if it's appreciated. And there have been lots of laughing out loud set times, which I think is really great. I've locked myself out, silly me. Oh, by the way! Oh. And the variety has been brilliant. Just to see that films can be made in so many different ways. With so many different interesting takes on things, we've learnt a lot. I didn't have a lot of expectations to be fair. Uh, quite new at coming to amateur film films, uh, but I've uh, been quietly surprised. I really enjoyed the fact that you know, you've got lots of films that are very short, so you can see a lot, and uh, yeah, very good quality. Enjoy it's watching been, it's it. It's been good, you know, seeing the different things. Yeah, really good. I'll definitely come again, yes. <laughs> oh, Elise has got a Sutton Club of Movie Maker friends there to help him. I guess then, lots of people coming out saying, we've loved it this year, we'll see you next year. Yes, lots. And you hadn't thought about doing another one next year, or had you? Well, we kind of, we had an idea. We thought maybe if this one goes well, we'll, we'll try and carry it over in you know subsequent years. But we literally, it's almost like um, a wedding, you know, when you're at a wedding and they, people come in. It was like that, but going out. So all the committee members were lined up. And everyone was coming out of the auditorium. Oh, great, great, can't wait for next year. Um, really excited, well done. So there was so much positivity from the, the fest itself, um, that kind of gave us more of an impetus to maybe try and do something for next year, yeah. you know, instead of just being a one-off. Yeah, well, once every 70 years isn't going to yeah. be enough, is it? <laughs> no, sort exactly, exactly. What, what sorts of films do your members make then? Anything, anything. It can be, um, we have documentaries, we have um, films of people's holidays, and they edit them together in a real sort of story. Um, we have fantasy, we have drama, we have, we've had a few um, sort of thrillers. It's, it really is whatever the, the members want to make. It's, it, we don't have a, a particular genre that we you know, adhere to, it's just uh, anything. And so when you get together a couple of times every month, what, what happens on those nights then? Do, would some members show some of the work mm. they've been doing? Yeah, to... yeah, if people have been working on little projects and little films, we'll, we'll show them if we can. Um, a lot of the time it's structured, so we actually talk about how to make films and how to improve ourselves. Sometimes we have guest speakers through contacts and connections, and they'll come and speak about their particular field of expertise. We've had people talk about lighting, sound, storyboarding. If you're part of a group and you're happy to sort of collaborate and share ideas and yeah. take take from some other people's experiences, yeah, it's great, absolutely. It? There's no sort of um, there's no sort of cliques or you know little groups or anything like that everyone's just happy to help everybody else if somebody's got a project and they think mm, I know I'll go and speak to uh, I'll go and speak to to Dave about that everyone's willing just to help everybody out because it's at the end of the day it's a group effort where it's do you nice. um, pull members from is it just the Sutton Coldfield area or is it no, broader than no, that no I mean generally we are predominantly Sutton uh, Sutton Coldfield based but it doesn't matter. We we've had people from Litchfield, um, Polesworth. Um, I'm trying to think now where else. But um, yeah, it's not exclusive to Sutton. You don't have to live in Sutton um, anywhere, really. So so where do you bracket yourself then? Are you a director of photography, a director, a cinematographer, yeah. an actress, or how, how does it work? Predominantly, I will say an actress in front of in front of the camera. Um, but I'm trying to get a bit more behind. I've got sort of. Um, a big folder full of ideas and, and short films that I'd like to make. Um, it's just getting getting going. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll help out wherever I can. I mean, I've been I've been tea lady a couple of times, and I've just gone to a to a shoot, um, and I've just said, look, can I be involved? Can I just make the tea? I just want to I just want to be involved somehow, not for a credit at the end, just to say I, I helped where I could. I, I speak to quite a lot of local movie makers, and the collaboration and the sort of the. the camaraderie on set on these sets is fantastic people giving up their own time yeah. to take part just because they want to learn and because they enjoy it yeah there is should, a buzz on a film set isn't there you should see the um the behind the scenes footage on some of the some of the shoots it's so funny There's, as soon as somebody shouts cut we're all falling about laughing because somebody's said something funny or something's fallen over in the background and we've all had to hold in a giggle but that, that's all right the worst one is when you started to giggle before uh, yeah we've got cut. those on you'll film get, you'll too get, you'll get there's a word isn't there usually or something or a phrase and somebody can't quite somebody get can't, it the yeah. longer it takes it's usually me the worst that, it is, that does so. that i'm like was i supposed to say that was that my line 
Fiona, we haven't we haven't said cut yet. Oh, sorry. Yes, sorry. We get it wrong once, you then it, it's harder to get. Yeah, it right, exactly. Kind of emotion. stuck in a loop then until something something breaks. So, what uh, what type of people do you think then would you know be benefit from being part of this? Then you know, if somebody's watching this, saying, "Yeah, I quite fancy this." Creative people, um, people that that write scripts, people that want to be behind a camera more, people that just want to join for the sake of being part of a movie club, to just be in that environment. It's really not exclusive. We, we, our doors are open to, to anybody that just wants to be involved with filming somehow. And remind me again, when do you meet and where do you meet? We meet uh, the second and fourth Thursday of every month at Wild Green Community Centre in Wild Green. Perfect. We'll see you at next year's festival. I hope Thanks so. a lot. <laughs> Thank you.